Hey guys, um, so today this video is going to be about how to aim, where you want to aim. There's a lot of information out around for this, but I thought I'd just make a video for CSGO Elite members. As our goal is to try and make silvers more than silvers, so you want to get to like gold nova, and that's if you if you don't play the game very often and it's just like a hobby thing, that's perfectly fine level for you. Um, so yeah, we're going to be talking. Aim map, aim bots, good map for learning how to aim. I, I'd suggest before you play any games, like how I started, I didn't play any games until I just had versed heaps of bots, until I learned how everything worked. It's just the kind of person I am. I don't want to go into a game and let my team down, you know. I'm very focused on improving my game first, so then I can be an asset to the team. Um, so yeah, I'd, rec I'd recommend that, but there's different types of aiming, so you got tapping, spraying and then well that was more of a burst and then you got your like well which you'll see quite a bit of and I would recommend that that's not a very good method you end up getting picked out so um yeah okay we'll start off with rifles okay best there is the first shot doesn't always hit like in that case which is a bit of a pain in my opinion but then you got S pistols which you can sort of move for headshotting Rifles, it's a lot harder to move and hit shot at the same time. Um, I made a video on how to, like, where to pre fire and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, so the AK, you kind of want to go for it. Don't just go for the tap, go for a bit of a burst. Um, on top of that, uh, learn. Don't just do what I see a lot of players doing, and they instantly start crouching as soon as they start shooting. So, like that, you kind of want to. When you when you crouch, you lose any ability. Like you you're adding extra speed to get out or reposition yourself. So you still want to have a go, then crouch if you really need to. And crouching also helps as a sort of way of dodging because if someone's like. Spraying here, and then they're going up, and you crouch, you're even lo less away, like, lower from the bullets. And at this level of play, so silvers and, and, uh, yeah, it's silvers, uh, that's not going to be very hard, to, like, it's going to be a very good benefit to you. Later on, if you keep playing and playing, and hopefully getting up the ranks, you'll need to learn more aspects, but that just comes with practice, so. Just keep playing, um, it's like with anything, you know. I've seen it in a few other videos, just keep practicing. Um, so now there's like Tech 9 which you'll see an abuser of the movement, moving and shooting so you just want to be first shot body and then sort of just keep center mass, keep this on the mass and just pivot around the person so it's sort of like you're locked on and don't just go because ah. even with the Tech 9 it's best to sort of be like sort of give it like that tap give it a little chance, don't just make the recoil go nuts, although it can be good in certain situations, like if you're coming out cobble, cobble um, B plat, you know, just coming up close to go, getting as much damage as possible, um, deagle, unknown fact, obviously you can do one deagle for standing up, but it's if you have fired a one shot miss, don't just keep firing that while standing. Crouching with the deagle affects its accuracy a lot more than any other weapon. Um, I remember hearing Sloth Squadron, who did a video with uh, Thorin on how crouching affects certain weapons, and with the deagle it affects it the most. So, so see like how far that is. So got one like all those there. Now we'll go over here. It doesn't look very good, but you can see that there's sort of more of like a bit a tighter correlation with this one. It's sort of just like a bit all over the place. Do it again. You can sort of nearly always like get chest shots, which is when you don't get the headshot of the deagle, if you're still hitting them in the chest, like lots of damage. Uh, 
And um, also about aiming, don't just, like at the start, you probably just want to be practicing on the main weapons. Uh, I'd start off with Ray 1 if you're a new player, just because it's very cool, tends to handle better for new players. But then for Ray 4 is sort of better in, I think, a lot more situations now. The M4A1, yes, used to be like an obvious choice until they uh, nerfed it. The M4A4 now has got some great benefits to it, so make your decision. That's all preference. I'm not going to tell you which one's best. Um, just for beginners, I think this one's a lot easier to learn. Like, that wasn't very good. But, and also just burst it. You've got 20 bullets, so you're not going to be going crazy. Like with the M4, you can go, over the place and you gotta get good with the AK. That's just baseline. You wanna be practicing on this weapon first before you try anything else. And another thing about aiming that I should cover across all weapons, strafing and and moving your crosshair at the same time will cut down the time and also make your movement and like you'll be a lot more fluid. So you're dodging them sort of at the same time. But also getting aiming for the next shot so I don't have to just move my mouse like this, standing still. You're gonna do, like you're more likely to be uh, hit in this way. You can sort of move, and good old AD. So you want to stop moving as fast as possible. There's no point moving and shooting with the rifles, pistols, and SMGs. Of course, that's what they're used for, especially the P90. You just want to. go around shooting, although I reckon the UMP is a great, uh, another great option, so it's got great uh, armor penetration, and its recoil isn't too hard to um, learn, so. And another thing about aiming that won't be shown on this map, but it's, it'll come more with practicing and learning each map individually, is how you want to kind of hold each angle. So let's say I was in AWP, say I'm playing Dust 2 um, car on long, so I'm playing up there and I'm watching short. That is a situation where you want to be just holding the angle until someone crosses into your crosshair. So let's say this guy here, he's come out cat, oh short, what do you want to call it, and then he, I'm just standing at car, he moves across, and he comes into my crosshair. My crosshair won't move because I know that he has to pass through there. When I see that, I shoot. So that's sort of like a, what I like to call the trip wire. So once he goes over the, the line, he's hit the trip wire and you fire. And I think that's probably a good baseline for AWPers. I don't, like, you see a lot of AWPers trying to do like crazy Kenny flip shots and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, even that, like, it's not my two. A personal type of warping. I don't like doing that fast, crazy stuff. I'm more like doing the, like I'll hold a position, utility orper kind of thing. Um, that's also another thing. Decide if you want to be an orper or a rifler. The orp has its potential in like how powerful it is. It also has its down max and how expensive it is. And you have to play around it. You have to sort of protect it in a, in a way. Um, very limited, you can't have as much mobility, you're worse on the retake. There's ups and downs to both, but if you're going to do an AWPA, stick to the, like, be primary, like, make sure you can get that good knowledge there, but it's like with anything. Um, everyone thinks they can AWP, people think they can't AWP, it's like, people love the AWP. If you're going to do it, you got to love it. I personally don't like it as much as I. No, I don't know. You just love it. You got to love it. The or well, how you use it. Rifling is a lot more versatile. Um, there's also a lot less stress on you. I know. Notice that when you have the orb, it's sort of like a you gain a lot of stress of like you have to hit this shot. You have to do this, and it, it's it's correct. You should hit the shots, but don't go, don't go expecting to hit shots if you've never practice them or expect to do crazy stuff like you kind of when you want to start playing you want to be in a comfortable environment so you get a base knowledge of the game especially with in relation to aiming because aiming is well it's, it's pretty much the core concept of the game and the further on you get along in the game 
other aspects come in as well. So aiming and movement are all together. Uh, another type of aiming is sort of just like the tracing. So when you lock on, you don't just fire the shot instantly. You sort of want to make sure you've got them in your sight first. So he say he was running, uh, and then just keep on him while he's moving. Just like trying to make sure center mass. So you don't want to be hitting like. You don't want to be hitting leg. You want to be aiming this section of the body at all times. If you can hit, hit the head, that's all good, but with the AWP, it doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure you get the confirmed kill. Which is what I think at the base level you should be practicing on. And not, some people have natural skill, and for those players, that's very lucky. Like, it's just something that happens. And, yeah keep going at it. Um, if anything else I've got to say, um, so I've done with the pistols, like how you sort of want to aim, so Glock is just keep running, keep shooting. Tech 9, same thing, USP, sort of got to stop between shots. Uh, M4, all the rifles you got to stop. Burst it. Don't just stand still, keep moving in between shots, and then sometimes crouch. It all depends on the map and the situation. There'll be some angles where it's like good to hold, but you won't understand. Like you think it's good to hold, but you won't understand that you're exposed and you won't be able to see them. And that stuff will just come through practice and play and learning good angles to hold. And don't just hold the with rifles with the AWP. You want to be holding. Like there's some arguments for AWPs and rifles. What sort of angle you should be holding? So with the AWP, should you just be holding the most common angle? And with the rifle, should you be playing an off angle? Um, and and vice versa um i'd say just start off with learning like the common angles so then when let's say you're playing ct there's a common angle as ct you got to hold t's if you learn that position you'll know as a t when you go to the other side how to best defeat that and you want to when you're going around corners as well you want to be checking each one like like um you want to be checking the first point as quickly as possible so you want to be like moving fluidity fluidly between the points of we like the common angles so that's another practice thing but yeah um i'm trying to think if there's anything else it's just it's just practice guys uh can't really think of anything else um aiming types and all this kind of stuff and recall patterns there's heaps of information on there i'm just trying to add a more of a what i think is uh should be used or I should what new players like I'm not talking about how top like higher level players should do this is aimed at baseline younger to newer players who just need to know like some information on the basics so thank you very much uh for what I might mention uh website CSGO elite members it will be in I'll look, put a link in the description below we have some uh have some resources for new players obviously we're trying to help people get out of the silver silver elite level. So yeah, pay that a visit and thank you very much for listening and watching.